It's DDK and I'm back today with another video. Shoot shout out to you for tuning in. If you are not subscribed, go ahead and smash the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and do not skip those ads. In today's video, guess what, baby? We have our biggest dispatch order yet. We're about to do that today. And I want to say this before we get into it. We might have a problem, baby. This order says that we need a extended cargo van. And guess what? We do not have an extended van. So I really don't know if it's going to fit. I don't know. Comment below and let me know what you think. Also, we are going to be giving you guys some details on the van. So stay tuned to the full thing and watch us get this green. Let's go. Pick up this order, baby. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, but I'm going to go ahead and talk to somebody and see, see what they think, baby, because I don't know. It's our first time, but we're going to go out there at a time. Maybe I got to go that way. I don't know. Excuse me. Do you guys work here? Yeah. Um, I have an order to pick up. Uh, okay, I'll take you to the guys. Okay. Thank you, I appreciate yeah, it. No worries. AK. So we're gonna be using dispatch a lot here. Mm -hmm. So you, if you uh, become a regular, this will be one of your main contacts in the morning. His it, name's Ken. How you, how you doing, Ken? Hey, here for a pickup. So I have an order to pick up to go to Round Lake. This is an order number. 950 ORS. Right. Mm -hmm. Give me one second, okay? Okay. That's my load. All right, appreciate you, boss. Than this, man. No, it's all good. I'm le it's a learning curve. It's my first time doing this, coming here to do this. Okay. Uh, so, question for you. Um, how often do y'all do these loads? Every day. From dispatch every day? Yeah. Do you have any idea of when it's going to come to the app or no? I don't know. Only comes to the app. Huh? Only comes to the app. Yeah, so I'm trying to figure out so I can start seeing every day. We're going to do 20 We're going to do 20 a day. Right now, we have. As you guys can see, we got everything strapped in. We delivering these solar panels, baby. Got everything strapped up. They got boxes and all that stuff. So we are about to go hit the road and get our pockets on swole. Let's go. baby so i'm supposed to where where's everything going at that's what i was trying to look right now I'm okay sorry. i should have looked at that before no it's all good no problem i'm okay, about to pick this up guess what we have to unload this joint baby <laughs> yeah i'm gonna unload this i ain't figured out there was a house until like after we were driving it already so how long you been doing this three years yeah you like it i love it that's good you get to kind of be by yourself so you going to put all this stuff in by yourself Oh, no, no, these guys are just late. <laughs> oh, late okay. I'm thinking like, <laughs> you about to do all this by yourself? That is my goal, though. Yeah. Yeah, if they give me three days on an install, I can do it all by myself. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I'm uh, learning how to do the electrical now. Mm-hmm. That's how you got to do it. You got to learn everything you can learn. That's that's People people look at the job as how they look at it, but it's a learning. It's you learning, yeah. really. Yeah. And it's like a trade. It, but, you know, it could take one guy three days. Yeah, and then you could probably... Would it be possible for you to do it like on the side or no? On the side, no. No? No, it's, I guess it's a contract. contract, yeah. We're locked in. Yeah, that's how they, <laughs> that's, how, that's how they do it. That's how they do it, they gotta protect the investment. Pedro, yeah. nice to meet you, Pedro. I'm Rome. Jerome, Rome, Rome either Rome, or. Nice yeah. Recipient name. So, am I supposed to put. I don't know. Is it the job code? No, it says the recipient name. I don't know. You can just put Pedro. Pedro. Or if you want to put the job code as well. Job code. What is it? 
Oh, okay, okay. I got that. And with that photo right quick, smack. And just like that, they just put me to work, baby. They just put me to work. I'm gonna tell you guys this before I tell you about the order and everything. Look, I did know that they said that they was gonna give me an additional payment for unloading, but I'm thinking this is a biz. They're gonna have a fork truck that's gonna come in here like they did when they dropped it in there. Uh, yeah, draw that jaw, drop it off. But I actually had to unload everything to get that green. Now, we're gonna get into the order. The order was on this batch. I told you guys that in the beginning. And it was 41.2 miles and we made 117.11. We thank God for our blessings. We got that money once stressing. It took us about two hours to do the whole thing. That's from start to finish, from getting there, waiting and all that stuff. So honestly, it probably would have took us really an hour and 15 minutes because we was waiting there for a while because they had to unload all their trucks and get everybody situated so they can go out and do their routes and everything. But we made $74.16 for the 41.2 mile drive and we made $42 for the unload and then we made 95 cent for toll reimbursement, which equals 11711. We thank God for our blessing. We got that money, but one stress. Now I'm going to get into some of the van information. I know a lot of people have been asking a lot of questions about the van because they're trying to get them vans, baby. But stay tuned to the full video because I'm going to release some and it's going to be up to y'all so if y'all want to find out all the info or not. But in order to fill up the van, it costs $54.97, enough money to pay the rent. And the gas tank holds 20 gallons and you can drive 419 miles on that 20 gallon tank as far as weight goes we can carry up to 3900 pounds do i recommend it no i'll probably say max 3200 or something like that i mean you can carry 3900 but it's gonna be real you're gonna be pushing the engine real hard now it's time to show y'all some of the tools we got some of the tools we got some of the things we did to the back of the van i don't know if y'all noticed or not but it's looking a little different back there y'all ready let's go open this zone up uh, now first i want to ask you guys this do y'all notice anything different? Check it out. Now, I know you guys are wondering, why did I take, why did we take off the panel of the van? I know it looks empty and all that stuff. It don't look as nice and everything. First things first, I want to say this. When you're doing delivery, this is a work van now. This is a work van. I know it's going to look nice and all that stuff. But when you're doing delivery, you don't want nobody scratching and nicking and cutting all your stuff. Also, it's going to benefit us later on when we have to hook stuff. Look, that hook stuff right here, you can, you can hook stuff to all type of different things in here. But with the panel, the hooks were very limited. We only had these up here and there was only some of them. It wasn't even all of them. As you can see, we put the plywood down. We won't play around. But we're trying to get our forward nicked up, scratched up, and all that stuff. And I've noticed that um, a lot of people were saying stuff about e tracks I looked up e tracks and everything. A lot of people use them. I just feel like, honestly, at this point, we really don't need them. We have literally 10 D rings. We have four on this side, well, five. We got one, two, three, four right there. We got one right there. Then we got five on this side. So we have 10 D rings and we got all this other stuff. So if we have to do it in the future, we may do it, we may not. But first thing we added was the dolly. This is not a regular dolly, baby. This is a four in one. I'm gonna show you guys about this. Like this holds up to a thousand pounds like this. Bam, look at that drone, baby. That's the stopper right there. Baby, look. Ugh. Next up, I know you, what is this thing right here? I know you wonder what that is, baby. Come on, come on, I got you, hold on. You see what's going on? We got the ramp. We got that ramp, baby. Just in case we got some heavy stuff, we go, oh. Roll this door right in. We got that ramp, baby. That can hold up to 1,200 pounds. So if we can fill something up with 1,000 pounds right here, we can roll it right down with no issues at all. And we have a few more other things. They're, they're, they're minute things, minor things. Blankets. We have the blankets to wrap stuff up. That's how we don't mess up nobody's stuff. Um, we have a, a little miniature toolbox right here. We gotta keep this in hand just because we gotta fix some stuff. We got that. Ugh, tools right there. Um, we also have... My impact drill, I had this for many moons. I had this for many years. Just in case you gotta uh, zzz, drill some. We also have tarps. We have some tarps, two tarps. And then we have strap galore. We have the smaller straps like this one. We have the bigger straps like the one I just used. We also have some bungees. Um, and we also have some gloves. And that's about it, baby. 
And just like that, it is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Again, if you are not subscribed, go ahead and smash the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and do not skip those ads. And lock in tomorrow because we get back to this bag. Why we get back to this bag? Because 2023 is big bag season. We gonna keep on giving them a reason. I'll see you guys on the next one. We go on, we go on, we flowing. You already know the DDK. And I'm on my way.